Mike Lansman and welcome to another video tutorial. This Photoshop video tutorial will deal with the newly added Path Blur filter in Photoshop Creative Cloud 2014. This is really a wonderful tool for illustrator purposes, for creating backgrounds, for creating patterns, for creating textures, you will notice that these effects are numerous and hugely beneficial. Print designers, web designers, let's have a look how this tool works. What this tool will do, it will add a blur onto a path. We find this new filter under the filter menu from the blur gallery and we invoke path blur. As we can see now, a random path has been generated with a blue node on either side. We're able to put the cursor onto that blue node and extend this path. We will now notice that if you hover over this blue node, we're able to adjust the endpoint speed of this and can you now see how it is changing the endpoint speed? Endpoint speed has been adjusted. Of course, this can also be adjusted manually. We are also able to click on the center node and now we're able to form an arc on this path and the blur follows accordingly. We are also able to click and add a new path in. We double click and we're now able to go and adjust the endpoint speed. I achieve that by highlighting the number and then to use the up arrow key or the shift up arrow key to increase the values quite substantially. I can now click to form another pin and double click to finalize that pin. And again, clicking on the node allows me to adjust the speed of this path. And it allows me to adjust the endpoint speed. Let's add another one. We'll click to add a new pin and a new pin. Double click and we may want to change the curvature of this path in that manner. Again, one needs to select the pin in order to adjust the speed value and the endpoint speed as well effect is coming together very nicely. What we're also able to do is to create a circular path. We would create a circular path simply by clicking and clicking and moving around and as you click you're adding the blur around the circular path that we have just created. Double clicking on the last point that, that we finished with and we could adjust the endpoint speed yet again and possibly also adjust the speed of the blur along this path. You will now notice in the options bar we have the option of undoing and we also have the option of clicking OK. Once we click OK, the effect is now generated and we're left with our new creation of a new pattern or any other texture that you may have wanted from this result. A very nice new feature in Adobe Photoshop Creative Cloud 2014. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.